Hi guys, Richie Bob here. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. Today, I'm reviewing an app called The Sims 3. You may have heard of it. It's an app made by EA a very, very, very long time ago. And it's still £6.99. Yes, £6.99. Probably one of the most expensive game apps out there. And it has 2.5 stars in the App Store based on 469 reviews. So I thought I would take a look at it and tell you my thoughts. So this also has in-app purchases. I can't say I came across any, but it does say that it has them. It has create a sim, you can explore locations. The locations are pretty nice, create a sim is dire. <laughs> There's a simoleon cheat apparently where you can press the pause button, help and about, gardening tips and then shake the device. I can absolutely confirm that does not work. I tried it multiple times, it didn't work. The last update for this app was August 13th, 2015 and it is 12 plus rated as most Sims games are. There's pretty good music in it, I liked it, it was fun, I've turned it off for the purposes of video of course, and you can add in your own. And there are multiple languages available which is a plus point. It does look very dated, I would say it was on par with Sims free play in terms of graphics, but probably a little bit lesser than that. There's goals within it, there's plenty to do in it, it is a fully built game complete even with glitches. The thing about this app is that there is more than one Sims 3 game app. If you want certain additions in the game you're probably going to want to get the edition so you might want to get the Sims 3 ambitions rather than just getting the Sims 3 app because they won't add the ambitions into this app. In fact I don't think they'll add anything into this app at this point. The reason why I say that Cass is pretty dire is that the clothes are awful, there's not that many choices and you can't randomise the name. And also like you kind of think with the Sims Free Play out why do you need this when it's £6.99 and Sims Free Play is free? You've got the classic loading screens, a nice map although the weird little blue figure moving around here made me laugh but that's part of the Sims isn't it? Like things making you laugh. It's funny, it's playable, there's fun interactions like when you fish you have to actually move your phone to move your fishing rod which I found quite fun um, but some things are quite annoying like when you're interacting with other sims and your sims supposedly making a silly face they're not actually doing anything and the sounds don't go along with what they're actually doing. People are still playing this, they're still reviewing it, they're still interacting with the game um, so it's really sad that EA haven't actually updated it, especially since people are paying $6.99 a pop to play it. It'd be interesting to see how much income they're actually making for the, from this game and where that money is going because it, I think this game would benefit from an, an update. It would really benefit from updates and people are there playing it. I just don't, I don't get it. But essentially if they're not going to update it, which you can't see happening when it's been this long, then I think they need to lower the price or at least make it free. But if you made it 99p that would be incredible, less reason to whinge. I think it's totally playable, it's such a fully built out game, there's plenty to do, you could get a lot of game time from it. But 6 99 is just so steep for a game for knowing that your money's going to things that have already been done. I don't know. I'm going to give it three big fat moves. I mean, it's quite sad. If it had just come out, I'd probably say, yeah, it's awesome, but it's just so old now. And the fact that they're still taking that much money just seems really steep to me when you think of what you can actually get the PC games for and the add-ons and things when they're that old. Let me know your thoughts in the comments guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!